Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Darby and today I'm going to be showing you how to do this bisexual pride makeup look. I decided to do this instead of the cut crease that I've been filming multiple times. It keeps deleting on me and I wanted to do something different. This is a recreation of a look that I've already done. I haven't done it in about seven months, so it was fun to do. It's quick and I like it better than the cut crease, so it works out. If you guys would like to see how I completed this look, then keep on watching. So I started with one eye off camera, and for the other eye, I'm going to start with this light pink shade from the Morphe 35D palette on this smudge brush from Eco Tools. And I'm taking a little bit, tapping it off so there's not too much at once, and I'm putting that right on the inner corner. And I'm just blending that out until about a third of the way through my eyelid. And I'm going to go in with more color to make it more vibrant. And I'm also going to blend that into the crease and then just above as well. Next, I'm taking this Stay There Shadow Brush from Eco Tools. And I'm taking a mix of these two purples. Then I'm tapping that onto my eyelid right in the middle where I stopped the pink. I'm going to do the same with the pink that I did with the purple by bringing it over the lid into the crease and then just above. This brush is a little difficult to get in the crease because it's thicker, so if you have a smaller brush or a packer brush or another brush like the one I used for the pink one, I would suggest using that. I don't have one of those, so I'm using this purple one. Or this one. I keep going back into the color and packing it on so that it's as dark as I want it to be and not see through when like when I first put it on and I'm blending that just over the crease and smoothing that edge out and then I'm taking the pink brush again and I'm going into this pink shade, pink purpley shade right here. And I'm putting that over the line where the pink and purple are and blending them together. This will create a smoother transition from the pink and the purple as well as adding more color to each of the sections. Now I'm taking this fluffy brush from Profusion and I'm going into this light blue shade in the Morphe palette and I'm putting that on the outer corner right here and I'm blending in circles to blend it with the purple. I'm trying to make this blend as smoothly as possible so there's no harsh line between the blue and the purple. And I'm going back in with the blue and I'm getting that really up close to my lash line so there's no blank space between my lashes and my eye eyeshadow. The palette Thrill Seeker and I'm going in with this top blue shade a little bit to make the blue darker but not too dark and I'm just going to continue blending that with the purple even more now I'm going to take the brush I used for the pink eyeshadow and I'm going back in with that pink shadow and bringing it down on my bottom line 
Now I'm taking my Hollywood Pro Fusion palette and I'm going in with the metallic shade Rosy. It's a pink shade and I'm going to use that for inner corner highlight and just put that right over the inner corner and blend it out into the pink a little bit. I'm just going to pack that on using this pointed concealer brush from Eco Tools. Any small brush will work for this. Don't go too far out into the pink. I don't want to cover up all the matte shade, but I do want to get the inner corner in there. For mascara today, I'm using the POW Volumizing Mascara from Beauty Concepts. I'm going to put that on my top and bottom lashes. That's all for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, subscribe to my channel below. Thank you for watching.